So good morning, everyone. Thank you very much for this invitation and the opportunity to share with you the bioregion of Catalonia, what we are doing by Yocat and how we can promote and interact all the actors working in this uh, dynamic uh, bioregion is, is uh, Catalonia. So first of all, I would like to apologize because some of this data will be updated next Monday. Uh, as you know, we'll present the new report of the bioregion of Catalonia with the new data from 2023 that will be presented in Axe Auditorium next Monday. So today I have some data from 2022, but I, you will, will all be invited to this uh, presentation. I think the capacity of the Axe Auditorium is completed now, but you can follow the presentation in streaming if you want, because a great moment to know, to be updated about all these activities that are happening in, in, in Catalonia right now. So uh, today I would like to just to give some uh, some ideas about oops, okay, about the bioregion of Catalonia. As you know, Catalonia is one of the top innovation hub in in Europe because we have all the ingredients contributing to that. First of all, we have the excellent research and the excellent science. I think we are now in a university. You know very well that we are very well uh, positioned in terms of publication in terms of uh, articles, papers, and also in the attraction of European grants and ERC, for example, when we compare with other countries with the same GDP or population as Catalonia, Austria, and Belgia, etc., we rank at the same position in the top five uh, position in, 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 in science. Of course, we have other uh, ingredients in Catalonia. Okay, you have a network of, of entrepreneurs this morning. I think we have seen different companies, uh, uh, very active companies from, from the ecosystem, from academia, but also the new entrepreneurs creating new innovations and developing that in Catalonia. It's more or less one new company every week created in this field in healthcare and life science a sector. We have as well the hospitals, the hospitals not only uh, doing their, uh, their uh, activities in clinical practice, but also in research. Catalonia ranks in the sixth position in terms of clinical trials performed in Europe and in the eighth position in, in the world. So we have a, a network of hospitals being very active, uh, performing and promoting clinical trials, in, of course, in partnership with, uh, with pharma and with companies. We have as well the research centers. We have the the link to the hospitals and, and other research centers from universities. And we have, of course, this landscape of entrepreneurs with more than 1,000 uh, companies not uh, distributing different areas, biotech, medtech. We are now seeing a very interesting increase of uh, digital uh, companies as well. And also, I would like to mention this network of investors that we have specialized in life science and based in Barcelona, investing in companies in Catalonia, not only in Catalonia, but, but with a, a clear interest in Catalonia and co-investing with uh, investors around the world. We are a very, um, well, <laughs> a very good opportunity for investors. To, uh, we are very attractive for international investors in terms of the excellent science, the, the, this network, this landscape, and also attracting more and more companies. Being, or being Barcelona, uh, the, the point of choice to establish the headquarters. And we have seen this year, last year, an example with AstraZeneca, establishing the Innovation Center Hub in Barcelona. Uh, so, and that's just to, to show that, of course, we are talking about Catalonia, but Barcelona is concentrating more than 90% of our activities and the actors playing an important and crucial role in this dynamic ecosystem. Universities, research centers, uh, hospitals, the multinationals established in, in Barcelona. Just a figure, just to, to see that in 10 kilometers walking distance, we have all this potential in, in Catalonia. And that's another slide just to show the different logos because it's, it's, a, it's a very uh, uh, rich uh, ecosystem with all this knowledge, this creation of companies, and also the uh, agencies and clusters, association as, as Biocat, as an as a, a organization promoting and coordinating 
the sector, but other that we are working all together to put Catalonia in this top position in terms of innovation in health. And also the, the technological centers, research institutes, etc. We have here all these uh, these uh, research centers working in all these different indication because we are we have of course several uh, areas that we are very I, I can say uh, top notch in terms of research and clinical trials as oncology for example or neuroscience but we are working uh, all together in all these different uh, sectors and indications and the, the, what about the pharma companies pharma the Barcelona and Catalonia form the 50% of the Spanish pharma industry. We have here a representation of the pharma Catalan companies established in the bio region, but also all these other international, multinational companies being or having in Barcelona some of their centers, headquarters, research, technological, etc., logistics, uh, being, as I, I have mentioned, a, a place to be for them. So Barcelona is the second most European attractive city for startups founders and also the, the fourth European ecosystem number of scale ups. That's an, uh, I think it's a, a very, very important point to keep in mind. And now just a brief introduction, but as I have mentioned, you can have next month the, the updated uh, information about the bioregion. And I invite you to download the document and also attend the, the, the presentation if you can. And what about BioCat? BioCat is this organization boosted by the government of Catalonia and the Barcelona Council to build, to, to, to promote, to coordinate all these activities in this ecosystem uh, seven, 19 years ago now. And we have this mandate from the government of Catalonia to identify the gaps, the challenge, that it's not updated as well because we have a new strategic plan, but we have we are aware, we have the knowledge and the relation with all of you because we are a very transversal and neutral organization. We can interact with all these key people, key actors playing a role in, in Catalonia. And we develop different activities, programs to uh, give some um, help, answer, interaction and activities to promote and to dynamize this ecosystem. As you can see here, we are working in all the value chain from the knowledge generation universities and research centers but also in the valorization of the of the technologies working with the startups with the spin-off with the scientific part we have different acceleration program i will explain a little bit more some examples of what we are doing but also we have and that's very important because we have uh, the connection with the the final uh organization that will implement the technology with the health system with the provide the service supplier the quality agency that will prioritize and evaluate the technologies that you are uh, uh, developing so that's it's it's not an exhaustive uh image so it's not all the logos that are is, they are working in catalonia of course but it's an example of all these people involved in the value chain from the beginning to the to the market and to the passion that is the final goal and how do we do it uh, so we have um, three pillars so first of all we are accelerating the the companies we have now a, a, a new uh, program a very transversal program to foster and to help to to accelerate the arrival of the technologies to the systems in this adoption of innovation how we can uh, um, organize or coordinate the different pieces to put or to to to, to have this uh, fast arrival of the technologies to the system. We have also programs to for the business growth to accelerate companies, and we have here some companies that have they have participated in our programs. We are also uh, attracting venture capitals and private money for our companies in Catalonia. Uh, helping the tech transfer, this interaction between academia and, and companies, how we can help to make more efficient this, this interaction. And also we have identified as well uh, a need in talent, in the specialized talent or entrepreneurial talent. So we have uh, also a, a program for that. I will explain a little bit more now. 
and then uh, that's our this focus in acceleration but we have also a, a, a very crucial role connecting people so we are uh, in connection with uh, national and international agents companies clusters etc and we can as well position catalonia because we are attending meetings we are talking with a lot of people we have this role also to represent and to project what all that you are doing in companies private and, and public sector in catalan so here is some of i will explain not all that we are doing because i haven't i think i have not enough time to, to talk about that but just to 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 show some examples of programs that we are performing now this one is the Health Barcelona program. We have here one uh, former uh, student, uh, Sofia, from this uh, this uh, program, the Health Barcelona. I think Sofia can explain a little bit more after that if you want, because uh, she's now uh, developing a new company, a new product right from this uh, from this program, because this program is a a, a way uh, to 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 train new entrepreneurs and new innovators based in a biodesign methodology. We are we have been inspired in Stanford University, and here we are um, from the, the identification of unmet needs in a real situation, in, in a hospital, after a clinical immersion, the people participating here can identify these needs, think about a solution for the selected need, and then develop a project, a technology, a program to, to solve this unmet need and to build a business idea, a business model, a company around that. So Sofia can explain because it's one of the of it's HICAP is one of an example of of companies from the Health Barcelona. So now is open. If you some of you are interested in that, we have uh, some some slots to, for that. Another acceleration program that we are doing is one that we are managing from uh, six years now is Price Barcelona. Alphonse also can talk a little bit more about, about that because uh, he was in the first edition of Crash. And here is not need driven at the, the health, here is technology driven. So the participants in this uh, Crash uh, acceleration program, they have a technology in medtech area that they would like to validate the business model and the, the market. So in this case, we put, we have a mentoring from uh, a CIMIT in Boston, a very renowned acceleration, acceleration program based in Boston, helping us, collaborating with us to give all this environment, all this knowledge to validate or not, or, or to pivot the, the technology presented and participating in this program. So it's, a, it's an online program and uh, some with different interaction with other uh, countries in, in Europe. This year we have collaborated with Germany with another, another bootcamp, but we are changing every, every year uh, the partner of that. And some KPIs from the program, project accelerated, etc. So it's a, it's a very interesting uh, program that will launch in, in, several, in, some, in two months. Uh, this one, uh, when I has been talking about the interaction and the attraction of capital, we have uh, created this matchmaking platform. We are working from uh, several years to, to, to show the pipeline and the deal flow from Catalonia to the investors around the world. Investors and corporates is a, is a way we can offer all the portfolio, the Catalan portfolio. So, of course, we are working with universities, we are working with hospitals, but it's a, a way to have the whole picture about the innovation from Catalonia. Therapies, medtech, technology, etc. And now we have this portfolio as a matchmaking uh, platform and the investors and corporates can have, can have a look, check, filter and then contact people as use or other projects companies they are looking for this interaction with investors or with um, companies big companies to have a license and agreement a co-development etc so that that is now working very well and uh, i invite you to if you have some technology that you would like to to put in a in a way to be more uh, uh, have this awareness to the world that's a good place to and 
I think I would like to, to, to draw your attention here in the hub of advanced and emerging therapies we are coordinating from Biocat. We have, uh, we have the mandate from uh, the government of Catalonia to coordinate that because the, the advanced therapies is a, is a strategic sector in Catalonia and the government recognized that that's as a, a very uh, potential to develop something because you have the research, you have the capabilities, we have the, the clear intention of that. And Biocat is, is coordinating that with uh, these different angles. But I, I would like just to uh, relate it to the, the, the topic today and to talk about the, the, the hub objective. It's very important, first of all, to, to identify and align all, all the key people and the ingredients and the, the, the actors that will be uh, uh, involved in the, in the hub, first of all. So we are doing that. Then it's important also to ensure the entry and entire value creation and value chain because you have a lot of activities that can help to, to promote and to dynamize this hub. As well, you have to ensure also the funding and to create the public, private, public uh, relation with the, the, the actors playing uh, here in, in the hub. And finally, also to have this position and this promotion internationally. So I think it's several points that you have to uh, keep in mind for, for the, the generation and the creation of a new hub and to ensure as well that you have the talent. I think, I don't know, the, next, the previous speaker uh, talked about uh, the, the talent, how we can uh, identify uh, and ensure that you have all this you need to, to, to be successful in, in the hub and the activities you are doing and talent is, 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 is key. And the other, and the last one is, uh, I have mentioned that as well, that, that we are now also working uh, in relation and collaboration with the, the health department and the health system in Catalonia, how we can accelerate the arrival of technologies from Catalonia in terms of more, consent, more, more, more focus in uh, digital and net tech to, to have this more easier way to, to arrive to the patient. So put all the, not only Biocat, Biocat we, are, we, we have different programs, of course, but we are not alone. We are working with a very uh, complete uh, ecosystem of which activities, how we can connect and make this nexus be, between uh, people working in Catalonia. I think it's, that's all. I just also to, to just it's a picture, it's not, uh, it's an ex exhaustive, exhaustive picture, it's just to, to see that we are in connection with all, a lot, we have a lot of partners in Europe and in the world making collaboration. We are coordinating um, European projects, we are participating in alliance, etc. So we are very well connected around the world. And that's all. If you have other questions or you need more information about Biocat, about our programs, oh, please ask us because we can make this role of connector uh, for you and, and, and people uh, in Europe, of course, but around the world as well. Thank you.